can you solve this question within 10 second no then wait i will discuss the tricks so that you will be able to solve easily hello my dear family members today we'll go through an important topic from which tcs will ask two to three questions what is that that is directional sense problem there will total three types of directional sense problems that are being asked in exam one is difference between two points and second one is rotational based problem and third one is from shadow based so that's why we'll go through all the topic one by one so that you can solve any type of problem easily so before starting i would request you to please watch the playlist regarding previous year question and recent question link will be given in the description box and if you want the best prime materials for preparing nqt then knock me at my study instagram.com slash techno.df you will get it okay so let's start with the first question what's that that is on the based on difference between two point so the first problem is Asis walked 10 km in the east direction he then turned right and walked for 3 km again he took a right turn and walked for 14 km how far is he from the starting point okay so I hope you know this is the north direction this is east this is south and this is west direction okay so now let's start solving the problem so at first the boy Asis walked 10 km in the east direction right so let me draw it if you have good imagination power then this type of problem will be very much easier to you right okay let's start assuming that you are Asis and you are walking at the direction of east and you walk 10 km okay so 10 km he then turned right and walked for 3 km so turn right means you are uh, going towards this direction and right is in your south direction okay so that means he walked three kilometer okay now he took a right turn and walked for 14 kilometer okay so again he turned right that means this way right so you just imagine you are walking towards south so your face will be at the south direction so your right side will be in the east in the west direction right so he walked 14 kilometer okay so 14 okay now the question is how far is he from the point he started so from starting point to end point you have to calculate the distance right so to calculate the distance let me draw a perpendicular on it so that we can implement the pythagoras rule right so let me give a name of those so a b c d e right so how do we calculate the Pythagoras, I mean the hypotenuse, okay? So hypotenuse is AB, right? And perpendicular is AC and BC is the base for this triangle, right? So what is the value of BC? That is total B and E. BE distance is 14 and AD distance is uh, 10, right? So AD parallel to CE and part of a rectangle. That's why BE minus AD will be the distance of BC, right? So 14 minus 10 will be 4. So this is the distance, right? Of BC, of the uh, of base. Okay. So what's the distance of AC? AC and DE are same, right? So AC will be 3 km. Okay. So I hope you understood because AC and DE are parallel and part of the same rectangle. Okay. So now I'll calculate the AB value. I mean the distance of starting point and the end point. Okay. So what's the Pythagoras rule? That is hypotenuse is equal to I mean AB is equal to root over of base square plus root plus AC that means perpendicular square that is 4 square plus 3 square so this will be the value so 4 square means 16 plus 3 square means 9 so 16 plus 9 is equal to 25 so 25 root over means 5 right so that means the correct answer will be 5 so i hope you understood the pythagoras rule how to implement that in calculating the difference between two points okay so let me give you a quick problem so that you can practice and this type of problem will be covered okay so let's see so this is the quiz problem you have to solve because this is quite same what i have solved just recently right and you have to implement the same logic same law same rule and you have to draw like same way right so please give me the answer in the comment section right 
so i hope you are attentively watching and you will prove it okay so let's go to the next problem that is based on rotation okay so this is rotational based problem so we have covered the first problem that is difference between two point base okay now this is a rotational based problem so let me solve it a boy facing north direction rotates 100 degree clockwise first and then 190 degree anti clockwise identify what is her current direction what is his current direction okay so let me solve it so at first let me draw it like uh, this okay so i hope you know this is clockwise direction and this is anti clockwise direction okay so at first the boy facing north direction rotates 100 degree right so from north direction from north direction he rotates 90 degree that means from here to here right so now he is facing east direction right east direction but he rotates 100 degree so 90 degree up to this and 100 degree means let's say up to this okay so again he one uh, rotates 190 degree anti clockwise that means in this direction okay so one from this to this 10 degree and from here to here 180 degree that means total 190 degree again he rotates so now he is facing towards west direction right so we can say that so we have we are asked to calculate what's the current direction that is the final direction is west so we had to draw so much right but we will not draw this much without drawing this we can solve this problem so how would we do that whenever you are asked like 190 degree 180 degree 100 degree etc etc clockwise anti-clockwise don't look at that much but just uh, i mean just subtract that's like uh, the bigger one 190 degree anti-clockwise minus 100 degree clockwise right so 190 minus 100 is 90 degree so this is anti-clockwise right because the anti-clockwise is greater so 90 degree anti-clockwise so if the boy is starting from north direction from north direction then he just rotate 90 degree anti-clockwise that means he is facing west right so you don't have to draw so much okay so the cut the correct answer will be west so we could have solved the problem using naive approach and the using this formula as well so just subtract and just rotate the uh, this much of uh, degrees okay so you, you will get the answer so i hope you get it so let me go to the next problem so this is the next problem please pause and try to give me the answer because this is also quite same as the first question okay but uh, here i think uh, we will not implement uh, the pythagoras rule okay let me uh, let me see if we can implement the pythagoras rule or not okay so a boy went in search of his father he started search by moving 9 kilometer in each direction and then he then he took a right turn and moved for 2 km then again he took another right turn and moved for 3 km okay from that point he moved towards north and walked for 10 km and saw his father there how far was he from the starting point okay so this is also from a difference between two point based question right so let me solve it so if you have a good imagination power then this problem will be very much easier to you so at first he started moving 9 km in his direction, right? So let me draw it. 9 km in, sorry, uh, 9 km in his direction, 9, and then he took a right turn and moved for 2 km, okay? 2 km. And then again he took another right turn and moved for 3 km, right? So he moved right turn. That means this way 3 km okay now from that point he moved towards north and walked for 10 km okay so walked for 10 km right and then he turned then he saw his father there how far was he from the starting point so his starting point was here and he is now here so what's the distance between starting point and the ending point okay so this was total 9 kilometer and this is total 10 kilometer okay so let me write it so a b and c right 
so what's the distance between a a b we have to calculate that okay so what is the distance between a c okay let me tell it d okay so distance between a d is 9 right a d is equal to 9 so what's the distance between b c that is the base of the triangle so b c is 9 minus 3 right because this is parallel with c d so that's why we'll uh, we'll assume that c d is also 3 right so b c is a uh, distance 9 minus 3 that is b c will be 6 right the base will be 6 kilometer and the a a c distance is 9 minus 2 that will be 7 right because a c is 9 minus 2 that is 7 right sorry 10 minus 2 that is 8 because total a to e distance is what 10 and from d to f the distance is 2 right so if we subtract a e minus f d we get a c right so that's why the uh, distance between a c will be 8 kilometer okay so now we'll calculate the distance of a b that is the you have to implement the pythagoras rule so what is the hypotenuse is equal to root over of b c square plus root over of sorry root over of b c square plus a c square that is perpendicular square plus base square right so 6 square plus 8 square right so that is 36 plus 64 that is 100 and root over of 100 is 10 right so i hope you know it so the correct answer will be 10 so if you still face any problem how to calculate this then please let me know in the comment section i will assist you okay please don't be shy okay so this is the next type of problem avi puts his watch on a floor in such a way that at 9 pm the hour hand will be in the south at 6 15 pm in which direction will be the minute hand right so let me draw it okay so if you can imagine then it will be easier for you but let me draw it so that it will be easier okay so if the watch is this right and this is 12 and this is 3 and this is 6 and this is 9 okay so it is told that avi puts his watch on a floor in such a way that at 9 pm the hour hand will be in south so at 9 pm the hour hand is here and the minute hand is here okay so the at 9 pm the hour hand in the south so this is how he puts the watch right so at 6 15 in which direction will be the minute hand so we have to calculate that direction so at 6 15 how will we represent the hands like this okay so at 6 15 the hour hand is at 6 and the minute hand is at 3 right and the hour hand is in the east direction but the minute hand is in the north direction right so the correct answer will be north so i hope your answer is also same right okay let's go to the next type of problem that is shadow based so this is the last type of problem that is shadow based and if you solve this then you are covering all type of problem and no other problem will be asked right so what is that once morning muskan and sivani walking on the ground such that they were facing each other and remembering their old days so if muskan shadow exactly to sivani's left then towards which direction muskan was walking okay so let me draw it and it will be more easier to you okay so this is morning time right so as this is morning so the sun rises in the east right sun rises in the east and sivani and uh, sivani and muskan was walking facing each other right and if muskan shadow let's say this is one guy and this is second guy okay so if muskan shadow exactly to sivani's left muskan shadow exactly to sivani's left so this is sivani and sivani and this is muskan okay so Muskan's shadow on Sivani's left. So Sivani's left means this side. Okay. So this is the shadow of Muskan. 
so then towards which direction muskan was walking right so towards which direction muskan was walking so muskan was walking towards this direction so i hope you understood right so the correct answer will be south so this way you can solve any type of problem just drawing a little okay so let me give you a quiz problem from shadow base so that it will be very much easier to practice okay so once evening rajesh and prakash were facing each other and talking about the international topic if rajesh shadow exactly to prakash right then towards which direction prakash was facing not south west or east so i hope you will give the answer and i, I i'll give you the heart if you are right okay so i hope this much of discussion is enough for directional based problem in tcs nqt so if you love this session please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding tcs nqt or any company that you want and please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this okay and if you want the prime materials then please knock me at page id instagram.com slash techno.tv you will grab it okay so thank you for today's session